What's up guys? So checking out this week the 11 weeks out footage from my meet in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, a little bit late in getting this out of the voice ever. Just had some other stuff come up, but here it is. So um, again, this was actually the weeks of March 3rd, March 21st through March 28th. Um, so again, a little bit late on some of this footage, but everything here went really smoothly. Didn't have too many complaints of this week. Uh, I finished off the week with a pretty good squat PR, not PR, but a pretty good squat number, uh, 400, 4, 5. Um, again, most of my training right now is based on percentage work. So it's going to be something like four sets of six at 70%. But like I've mentioned in the past, Hardly ever do I actually only use 70%. I will use around 70% for my first set of six. Then based on how that feels, I'll go up or down. And recently, it's been mostly up and very up. Uh, if I actually looked at the percentages of what my... If I looked at the actual number of my percentages, like this one at 345 for six on the first set, it's probably right around that 70%, and I finish off doing 370, 375, you know, which is 20 pounds above that, probably a lot closer to 75%. And that's happened a lot more on squat than it has for bench press or deadlift, but even for bench, it's going pretty well right now. Uh, not too many complaints. Again, the body weight's sitting around 169, so pretty much right where I want it to sit now that I'm in the month of April. I want to sit between 166 and 168. So get a little bit leaner, but again, still gonna be um, in that four to eight week mark out, being uh, about three to five pounds over. And then the actual month of um, May, try to be about two to three pounds over the entire time, and then just cut that weight the week of the meet. I don't think two to three pounds, anything daunting. I think that's certainly a, uh, acceptable amount of weight to lose and not really expecting any decrease in your performance considering you do it correctly. So again, just trying to sit uh, right around 165, 166 going into the meet and then doing some magic stuff um, one week out. So Fridays are probably my main training days because I do both heavy squats and heavy deadlifts on these days. I think I talked about this last week, but I just think this is the best way to kind of allocate my volume right now. Because if I do, say, four or five sets, there's going to be a lot of fun commentary or a lot of fun uh, kind of additions to these videos on these on these uh, next few clips. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But I feel like if I go and squat, um, you know, several heavy sets on Friday, so I think this was actually five sets of four on this Friday, and then if I try to come deadlift the next day within 24 hours, and usually for me it's within like 16 hours, because on Saturdays I would train pretty early in the morning, say between 9 and 11 a.m. I typically train around 3 or 4 p.m. on a weekday. Um, I still think that recovered, and you know whether it's it being the weekend and being a little more lackadaisical in my just mentality or what. But I did deadlift on two consecutive Saturdays. I hit the weights I was supposed to, but it just didn't feel as fast, as exciting. Uh, whatever I want to, you know, whatever way you want to put it, it just felt a little bit off. Here's a uh, here's some more stuff here, but another good example of I think my working weight for this day was supposed to be. I think somewhere in the 380s, somewhere around 385. And I hit that for the first set. Everything just felt good, so I kept working up. And this is 405 for four. That went pretty smoothly. I'm really happy with how my kind of hip action is going. I'm not having too much motion as far as my hips going backwards. That's allowing me to stay pretty damn upright for my low bar position. Again, I've just been doing low bar the past, you know, in this video, the past three weeks getting used to being a little bit more um, forward because in my quote-unquote off-season, I do a lot more high bar squats, but I think that's paying off though.
So after that pretty big set for me, being 415 for four, um, I hit it up with some deadlifts afterwards. Again, working on the reset reps. So again, about probably 10 or 15 seconds between. And just doing doubles here. Had 440 for my first set. And one thing I have noticed with my recording my deadlifts, especially when I come back and watch them on my iMovie, that I probably need to work on having my toes point a little bit more outward Sometimes I have the habit of having them a little bit more straight. I can't really open up my hips. But overall, pretty damn happy with these deadlifts. Again, getting back in the groove with sumo. I did pull that 475 for, you know, two uh, two singles before I started prep. So, again, that kind of gave me some good hope. And, again, most importantly for me, been feeling good health-wise with the deadlifts. Not any back issues, not really any abductor issues. Again, not really trying to push the heavy singles right now. Just trying to get a lot of volume in that target percentage of the week. I think it's around 85% for me here. So that's it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'll probably have the 10 weeks out uh, video up probably with the next few days because, again, this is a little bit old footage. But appreciate it, guys. I'm excited for the next few weeks. Take care.